unicorn. <laughs> Working on all this stuff. Dolphin shell. This is silver. This is what silver looks like after it's been cast. White. Here's a ring. This gets bent around, made into a ring. And I gotta cut lapis to fit in there. This was a this is a job for this lady that um brought this brass ring in with cheap plastic fake lapis and she wanted us to make it into real jewelry so I cut it in half flattened it out made a mold of it and then we cast this in, in silver sterling silver dolphin ring not ring this thing's cool Rattlesnake. Shell. This gets cut off. You put a little ring on there and then another ring to attach to the uh, to the chain. Fish. Fish fish pendant. Just gotta solder on a little ring there, cut this sprue off. Gets cut off right there. This thing's cool. Check out this horseshoe ring. It's awesome. Sailboat. That gets fixed. Put on a new ring. That gets cut off right there. Palm tree. Pendant. That gets cut off right there. Things cool. Kind of a cool textured patterned dude's ring. That gets cut off. Gets polished more. And then here's a bunch of stuff that I have to size and make molds of. Rose ring. This cool leaf ring. It gets cut off. I have to size it and then make a mold of it. Iris ring. Flower ring. That gets cut off, I round it out, and then I gotta size it up, because this thing is tiny. It's like size 4 or something. So I gotta size it up to size 6, and then make a mold of it. Some trippy. The whole thing gets cleaned up, polished, sized up. Check out this opal. That one's mine. Another pattern ring. Double rope type thing. Some type of flower. Flower ring. Another flower ring. This one's nice. A swirl. Oh, this one's cool. Check out this cool, like, uh, geometric abstract ring. This thing's neat. This thing's gonna be cool when it's done. Look good in gold. Some type of swirl pattern. setting with three little stones on the side. This would traditionally be a gold ring. 
of an abstract pattern ring. Lobster. <laughs> And that's what I'm working on today. Here's uh, after you do the torch work, the torch, you put it in here and you get the oxides off. Big old stone setting. See, I just sized it up. You can see right there that seam, and right there, you cut the ring, and then you add this piece of metal in there. You have to form it and know what you're doing. Here's what I used for the sizing stock. You can see where I bent it right there to start making the rounded, and I added that in there. 